Hey guys, what is up? It is Chris from Gentleman's Gaming and I'm here to bring you something a little bit different in terms of gameplay. Um, over the last week I've been trying out a variety of new games and I wanted to kind of start not so much of a series as kind of almost like a preview of the games that I've been playing and I thought that some of these games would interest you considering some of the other content on my channel. So the game, as you can probably tell from the screen right now, uh, we're going to be playing today is Dying Light. Um, when I first saw this game come out, um, to be honest with you, I thought it was just going to be another generic zombie game, but we're going to jump in right here and I'll show you just exactly why I was wrong in that respect. Um, if you guys don't actually know the developers of this game, and I was shocked when um, I first heard this, um, it's actually Techland, who are the guys who made uh, Dead Island... Uh, Dead Island, Riptide, and I believe, I don't know if they're the people that are making Dead Island uh, Dead Island 2. I'm not 100% sure on that, but these are the guys that made this game. So, coming from Dead Island, which was kind of a lackluster game, in all honesty, um, Dead Island Riptide was kind of almost an, uh, a copy of Dead Island 1, to be absolutely honest with you. And then coming to this is leagues above what they've normally done. Um... And as you can see here, the game is absolutely beautiful. I'm right now in one of the shanty towns down by the coast. Um, and actually, this is where the bridge is. Oh, what the f Glitch. I love the gun mechanics. It's just any time, like any time I use a gun, I try getting headshots, and it's just kind of comical how um, the zombies' heads fall off, or not fall off, rather. <laughs> Dumb bitch. Got fucking killed by one of those hedgehogs I think they're called uh, it's one of those things that are in tank barriers but um, as you can see the combat is a lot like uh, is reminiscent of Dead Island but um kind of the way that I feel it it's more streamlined and it's more it is in some ways the exact same thing as Dead Island that zombie grabs you gotta fight him off um, there's the same melee combat um, in this game guns are a little bit harder to find considering you don't find them until later on in the game and there's not really a lot of variety of them um, but to each his own um, coming from Dead Island I think this is a way better game to, absolutely, to be absolutely honest with you I actually think that this is kind of what they've been working up to I feel that Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide were kind of just I wouldn't say mock-ups but they were more of a starting piece to reach this because not just coming from game coding standards or something like that but the entirety of the game itself is so much better so much fluent the graphics have definitely fucking improved like if you look at this right now the graphics are beautiful um i'm actually recording this in 1080p on ultra so it, it's pretty it's pretty nice i have to say it's very realistic um the one thing that was kind of meh i was kind of mad about was the whole story uh, it was okay in all honesty, but um, I think the combat and just the way that you kind of go out through the city and help all these people is, is kind of, it kind of makes up for it. But we're just going to be going through the city. I just want to show you guys a random, not random, but I just want to show you guys the basics, the combat. Um, one of the things that you don't get, um, oh, the fuck? There we go. Um, the one of the things that you really don't reach up to or it's one of the one of the last unlocks you get is I just used it it's called the grappling hook it pretty much makes you a it pretty much makes you Ezio with spider-man powers because this game is very parkour centric as you've probably seen throughout this entire gameplay and it kind of just makes you spider-man uh, it's kind of I wouldn't call it overpowered but it could get you it could get you out of a lot of sticky situations and into places that you normally would not get into. Let me just help this guy out. Got to get that duct tape. Help you out, buddy. No, oh, it's all right. I'm not a zombie. I'm here to here to hurt you. No, I'm, give me your money. Fuck. Yeah, you better. There's zombies everywhere, man. But um, those are kind of the side quests where you can help survivors. Their survivability is not at all. Uh, long at all, but I'm gonna show you some night gameplay, and this is where things kind of get really messed up, or not messed up, but the zombies kind of turn a little bit hostile. Um, there are these things called volatiles, and they get pretty nasty. 
Um, but right now we're in the main base, we're in the tower, which is kind of the people who save you. And as you can see, it's it's proper night. It's like it it's not bullshitting you whatsoever. It is proper night. And in some moment in some moments, if you don't have your torch on, um, they will fuck you up. But uh, here's one of them now. And pretty much, they're super fast, tough, and nasty looking motherfuckers. Um, and if one of them pounces on you, you're pretty much dead. So stealth is, it's encouraged to say the least. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the inventory system. I'm just marking off where I want to go. Um, uh, where do I want to go? Uh, we'll pick there. I don't know where I should go. Where should I go? I have no idea. Uh, F5, whatever. There. So mapped it over there. I can't actually remember what's in that area, but um, I just put on my uh, my UV torch, which is the only thing that actually um, stops them from chasing you. Um, I don't know what it is. They never really explain it in the game why that... Oh, shit. Uh, they never really explain why the UV light affects them. I'm just not putting on my torch. Um, but for some reason it just makes them kind of cower and they get like there are these boils on their skin that lights up because of the UV I don't know they really don't go into much detail about it and I'm not gonna speculate any of it because it could be a whole lot of things but the main point of the night is to kind of sneak around Ooh, that sounds nice. Ooh, there's a bolter a boiler oh shit Oh fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. Run, 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 run. Ah! Oh fuck. Ah! Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh fuck me. Get off. You assholes. Get in the safe house. Get in the. Woo. There they are right there, if you see them, uh, there he is. Oh, he actually just died. Those are the fast ones. <laughs> Fucking head exploded. Um, but this is one of the safe houses, the marketplace. You can clear them once you go out through the story. And um, it pretty much gives you a place to rest, uh, gives you a chance to open your adventure. And, and some of them actually have markets where you can purchase stuff from vendors. Fuck off. You best fuck off now. They're all killing each other on this place. Yeah, see, they're nasty motherfuckers. They're nasty. Die, bastard. I wonder what the inhabitants are thinking. Like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Die, you cunt. Oh my god. Die, asshole! Fucking die! There we go, finally. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little sneak preview. Not the sneak preview, but almost like a review of Dead... Uh, Dead I almost said Dead Island. Of Dying Light. Uh, it's a really good game. Um, story is kind of lackluster, but in all honesty, um, I have enjoyed playing it a lot and if you guys enjoy kind of the zombie apocalypse genre i think you'll enjoy this game so i hope you guys enjoyed this little snippet of gameplay from dying light um this will kind of be no somewhat of an occasional series but an occasional video where i kind of go through a game so i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one